built in October 1941, Auschwitz II Birkenau was the largest of more than 40 camps and subcamps that made up the Auschwitz complex in Poland. Originally intended to house around 100,000 prisoners of war, by 1942, the decision had been made to annihilate the Jewish people, so Birkenau was repurposed as a combination labour site and extermination camp. Possibly around 90% of the people who died at Auschwitz, said to be around 1.3 million Jews, Poles, Gypsies and Soviets, died within Birkenau. Ninety wooden and twenty-seven brick barracks were constructed to house and quarantine prisoners. The wooden bunkers were actually prefabricated horse stables and were easy to assemble and take down. Each wooden barrack had three-tier wooden bunks designed for 15 prisoners. Holding 400 prisoners per barrack, they were heated by a chimney flue that ran the length of the hut. In this row of quarantine huts, men and women used the same latrines. These were holes in a concrete structure set above the ground. There was no pit below, and prisoners had to clean out the latrines when they were full. There was also no toilet paper available. Around May 1944, Freight trains that were 40 to 50 cars long rolled through the gates at Birkenau, carrying thousands of Hungarian Jews. They exited the trains and selection would take place to decide who was fit for work and who would be sent to the gas chambers. According to the Auschwitz Museum, 434,351 of these Hungarian Jews were not even registered at Birkenau, but instead immediately gassed upon arrival. During a 10-week period, at the height of the deportation of the Hungarian Jews, it's reported that up to 12,000 of them were gassed and burned every day. The grove of birch trees at the western end of Auschwitz II was where prisoners were ordered to strip and head to the gas chambers nearby. The gas chambers and crematorium is now in ruins, destroyed by the SS before the camp was liberated in 1945.
Also destroyed was the underground gas chambers and crematorium too. Here was the site where the infamous Joseph Mengler carried out horrific experiments in his dissecting ward. Anyone afflicted with physical deformities would be killed for him on arrival to Birkenau to provide new material for his studies. At a place where so many were killed, you cannot escape the feeling of darkness in every corner of the camp. Walking the very tracks people would have been transported along gives a sense of dread that is indescribable. The eerie silence was occasionally interrupted by distant sounds. Assuming they were from a factory or something nearby, given the atmosphere here, the sounds were very haunting. With a war going on around them, people starving, the smell of burning bodies. I cannot imagine what the people here would have been experiencing, not even a hundred years ago. In the 27 brick barracks, each would house 700 prisoners per block. Women who stayed here would be separated from their children, who would be sent to block 16A. There are countless stories of them sneaking out under the cover of night to visit their children in their barracks. Much like the wooden barracks on the other side of the train track, these blocks were often overcrowded and filthy. Bathing was extremely limited, and sleeping conditions would have been just as bad. Although just one of the many concentration camps used by the Nazis during World War II, Auschwitz II Birkenau left a deep mark on the world, and in particular Poland. There is an overwhelming sense of that in the air that is hard to explain, but very easy to feel. The sensory overload experienced within the camp, where such horror took place, is one that will be hard to forget. <laughs> 